Now our top focus on Vyond, Malaysia has stumbled into a fresh political turmoil after a tightly contested general election delivered a hung parliament for the first time in its history. And without a clear winner, the political uncertainty could persist in the country as Malaysia faces a slow economic growth and rising inflation. The political alliances led by opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim and former Malaysian Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin are running neck to neck. Anwar's Pakatan Harapan has secured 82 seats in the 222-member parliament. Former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin's Malay-based Parikatan Nas National trailed behind with 73 seats, while Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob's ruling Barisan National Coalition suffered major upsets, winning only 30 seats. Both the leading candidates earlier announced that they had won the country's 15th general election. However, the poll results from the election commission showed a hung parliament. The opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim has said that he has obtained support in writing from the lawmakers to obtain a simple majority. We, Pakistan uh, Arpan, has formed the biggest bloc in the uh, parliamentary composition uh, with uh, Muda and um, we have also recognized the fact that no party has obtained a simple majority in parliament. We therefore have conducted a series of meetings and negotiations and as a result, I wish to inform you that um, as a majority bloc, we have managed to get uh, the support of MPs to form the government with a simple majority. Muhyiddin's new national, national alliance, which includes Malay-centric Conservative Party, also made substantial gains. The former Malaysian Prime Minister has said that he is willing to work with any party to reach the numbers that are needed to form the government. <laughs> telah membolehkan Perikatan Nasional mencapai kejayaan dua jangka. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Dr. Azmi Hassan. He's a political analyst from Kuala Lumpur. Welcome to the broadcast, Dr. Hassan. Thank you for having me. Now, results are being expected on the very lines of the opinion polls we had read earlier. Malaysia seems to be heading towards a hung parliament. Why do you think these deadlocks continue to persist in the country? Uh, yeah, it is true. It's a hung parliament, I guess. Uh, we are quite frustrated because we want a stable government, but I guess uh, we did not achieve that. But I presume that the hung parliament will not be long. I think by the end of today, which is Sunday, I think a government will will be formed uh, by the end of today. And Anwar Ibrahim and Mahyudin, the chances of forming the government and to be the next prime minister, both have the same chance. Uh, but the problem is that both party, Anwar and Mahyudin, will not work together. So both of these uh, blocs need to work with other smaller parties, uh, for example, in the Borneo Island parties and also maybe the incumbent Barisan National. Right. Dr. Hassan, Malaysians are already frustrated with the with the infighting in the government and also the political deadlocks. You as a voter also mentioned it. Yet this election has seen some of the highest numbers of voter turnout. What are the top concerns we are looking at? Well, the main concern will be bread and butter issues. Uh, but I guess that uh, most of the voters, I think, uh, the younger voters, especially 45 and below, they want something fresh, uh, something new. And that's the reason why Mahyudin Bloc, which is only one year old, has given a great chance to form the federal government. But still, as you mentioned, uh, the bread and butter issue. And yes, uh, we are quite frustrated because until now, we cannot see the color of the government. So we are hoping that by end of today, one of them, either Anwar Ibrahim or Mahyudin, 
can form a very strong federal government. Right, Malaysia has a diverse multi-ethnic population, Mr. Asan. There are Malays, Chinese, Indians, and then there are smaller groups as well. So how does this transpire into the country's politics, if you could explain that to our viewers? Uh, yeah, 60% of the voters or population are from the Malay origin. Another 30% is a Chinese uh, origin. And another 10 to 15% is the Indian origin. But sadly to say, uh, GE, uh, our gen yesterday's general election sees the, 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 the voting pattern is still according to the race and more importantly, religion. I think religion plays a very critical role. Why Mahyudin uh, block uh, secured such a tremendous and surprise uh, victory. So no doubt that not only religion, but also race plays a very critical role. Yeah. All right. Thank you for all those insights. That was Dr. Azmi Hassan joining us from Kuala Lumpur.